hey guys um so thank you for watching and so i just want to give you guys like a brief summary of what's been happening so um obviously i just started my youtube channel and if this is your first video because i'm probably gonna like share this video out more than my other ones because i really like this one anyway so if this is your first video please please subscribe i would really appreciate your support thank you for all the people that already support me and yeah i mean i'm just gonna be making videos obviously about makeup okay i was like talking too much anyways okay po like the point is is so yeah i just love makeup um so this video was just how to get this eyeshadow look i did i had already done my foundation and everything so yeah it was just my um eyeshadow so if you want to see like my foundation routine that's my last video so i'll link that below and yeah um if you want to learn how to get this look just keep watching all right thanks guys bye hey guys okay so pretty much um this is the primer that i had used and that was the Too faced shadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow primer this i think i got for christmas and it's like a little small tube but it is seriously super good like i absolutely love 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 this um primer and i'm sorry if my voice sounds kind of like yucky i'm like kind of sick but anyway so yeah this primer is super good and i definitely recommend it for you guys All right, so this is my Too Faced. Um, I can't really remember what it's called. Let me see if I... Okay, so I think it's like... I'm not sure if this is how I'm saying it, so I'm sorry if this isn't how it's pronounced, but it's the Too Faced La Grande pa Palace. Palace. Um, so, yeah, this was a Christmas gift, and the eyeshadow that I used was Vintage Lace, and I just put it as, like, my base. It was just, like, my main color. And then I that eyeshadow is the Cobblestone, and that is for my crease, pretty much. Um, and this was kind of really light for me. Um, so you'll see later on that I'm going to go back and make it a little bit darker. And I, like I said earlier, I already do have my foundation and everything already on. So, yeah, this was just the last thing. But I usually do my eyeshadow first and then my foundation, but I didn't want to look all ratchet for y'all. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now, okay, so this is the moon on their wings. Moon on their wings, yeah. So, this is literally, like, honestly my favorite eyeshadow from this palette it is so pretty well maybe because i love glitter like i literally love glitter so you guys might have seen that i sprayed some stuff on it so i used the nyx matte finish uh finny matte finny matte okay so this what i sprayed it is a finishing spray but you can also use it like the um the mac fix plus and i don't know where i left it i don't know where i i don't know i don't i really don't know where it's at so i couldn't find it but that's usually what i used and pretty much what it does is that it makes your eyeshadow super pigmented like even if it's already pigmented but you want it to look kind of like a wet eyeshadow this is what you should use um like I said, it doesn't have to be, like, the MAC Fix Plus or anything. It can literally be, like, any spray, like, any finishing spray or anything. But, yeah, I'm just dusting off the axis that fell. But, yeah, um, that's, like, my favorite eyeshadow. It's so pretty. And, um, what am I doing? Okay, so, yeah, I'm just fish finishing it up and just putting on some more... But yeah, I definitely recommend you guys, if you want to, like, get your eyeshadows more pigmented, it's definitely what you should use. I really absolutely love, love spraying my eyeshadows with spray and stuff. And now I'm going back to the Cobblestone and just trying to make it a little bit darker. And I don't know, it wasn't, like, getting darker, so I was like, what's going on? So now I'm just, like, 
um, blending it in with the other one. So I didn't show you guys the eyeshadows that I used, so I'm really sorry. But the ones that I used were on the very top right, and it's called Dreamlight and Be Belle Femme. Belle Femme. Um, so I just made it darker pretty much and what I just sprayed was the NYX uh, matte finishing spray is the spray that I was talking about earlier and just to make sure that you know everything stays in place so now um, I'm going over with this Urban Decay Naked Illuminated powder um, pr I'm probably about to yeah there it goes alright so yeah I got um, this for Okay, let's not talk about it. Anyways, so yeah, um, I just really like this. I barely use it because you can't really use it as a highlighter because it's very super glittery. Like, you can see the glitters. And so I just put it on top just to make it more shiny and stuff. Um, so yeah, so now I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go start on my eyeliner. Okay. Literally, the only eyeliner I have ever used since, like, I was, like, in my mom's tummy was, is literally, so it's the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, and that's what all it says, okay, but I don't, I don't think I showed you guys, oh, and sorry, you couldn't see my other eye, sorry, I don't know, anyways, so, yeah, this eyeliner, I literally love it, like, if I can, if anybody ever asked me, like, I'm not trying to be cocky, but I get a lot of compliments on my eyeliner and stuff. And they're like, oh, what eyeliner do you use? Literally, I tell everyone to go get this. Like, you may not... I didn't think it was going to be that good, you know, because... I don't know. I've never really liked NYC products because I remember I got, like, this bronzer and this lipstick. And I did not like it at all. It was super bad. But I don't know. One day, I just wanted to try their eyeliner. And I literally loved it. I literally fell in love with it. And it literally, it, like, turns matte, honestly. And it's so good. I love it. Like, it's very easy to, like, you know, control and stuff. Well, to me, because I honestly like the long wings better. Ew, excuse my nails. That's gross. But, yeah, if you want to go try to find a good liner, it's literally, like, two three dollars at Walgreens or like your local pharmacy Walmart Target it's literally anywhere but this eyeliner is amazing like it's bomb.com it's so good but yeah I just love it it's so good and so I think it's about to cut off in like a few because I don't know I guess I don't know what happened but so after this, I applied like this glitter eyeliner. I didn't show on camera, but I think I got it from e.l.f. And I just put it like right above my eyeliner, like the black eyeliner, and just gave more shimmer to my eyes. And then after that, I just applied um, mascara, and it's the NYC Big Curl Bold NYC Mascara. Again, I love this mascara. It is so good. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, and then I just applied... Uh, this Sephora, what is it called? It's like Burry or Crush or something, but it's like a red. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye!